Today on the channel for WWE Mattel Elite Series 106, we got another first time in the line with Roxanne Perez. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite Series 106 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a first time in the line. Last time? Not so sure, but first time in the line from NXT, Roxanne Perez. But for all your Roxanne Perez needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Roxanne Perez sweeping NXT. She's all over the place. She was the champion for a brief amount of time. And then, I don't know, it was a weird angle where they took the title kind of off her because she got a concussion or something. I, I don't know what was going on there. And then she came back without the title. It was very confusing. And I'm a person that watches NXT every single week. Uh, and it kind of did uh, slow some of her momentum down. But it could have been one of those things a little too much too soon as she is still extremely young. And I think a lot of uh, longtime wrestling fans first remember her from maybe Ring of Honor. Or, of course, she came from Booker T's wrestling school uh, down in Texas. So that could be where the first people really saw her, of course. But a bright future for young Roxanne Perez. And we're going to see where her future takes off to here in Elite 106. So let's, before we do anything else, let's take a look at the packaging. See what's going on with old Roxanne here. And until I saw this in hand, I thought for sure she was in referee gear. I was like, maybe she refereed a match in NXT. I don't remember. Maybe one of the pay-per-view things or whatever. Uh, that's what was going on. But no, it looks like a referee outfit, but it's got a little sparkle in there. So it isn't truly a referee outfit but you could smoke and mirrors you want a female referee this might be able to work for you of course as you can imagine female figure a very small female figure very very light it almost feels like it's just packaging with nothing in it here a uh, very small figure of course but there she is looking only like a uh, Roxanne Perez could look or Roxy back in the day got her name right there WWE elite WWE let the light in let the light shine in over there of course there she is, that million dollar smile. And I will say, the only negative I have about Roxanne Perez is I cannot stand her theme music. Probably my least favorite theme music in wrestling going today. I'm sure she didn't pick it, but man, change that music. I am not a fan at all. Roxanne Perez on the side, Elite, Certified Authentic, all the hits being played over there. Then on the back, there she is, old Roxy, looking only like a Roxy could look in the glamour shots. Of course, tail of the tape, you got the blurb, jibber jabber, then you got the cross sell. We're unboxing every single one of these on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe. Very end of the week, we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite, so stay tuned for that. Let's see what it says about our friend Roxy here. Uh, Roxanne Perez. Uh, from Laredo, Texas, absolutely beautiful. Uh, shout out to Oscar. Oscar at the wrestling shop from Laredo, Texas. How about that? Height five foot one. Finisher Pop Rocks. Once again, not a fan of that name. Not a fan of her theme music either. So don't want to bag on her. Don't want to bag on her. Just not a fan. You got to change that name. Change that name. Uh, winning accolade after accolade in her history-making rookie year in NXT, Roxanne Perez proves why she earned the right to call herself the prodigy and she's probably a young fire starter out there who knows who knows what she's up to uh, career highlights nxt women's champion nxt women's tag team champion nxt women's breakout tournament 2022 winner oh prestige prestigious prestigious but there it goes y'all see you later goodbye and we got little roxanne perez with the nxt title belt i do appreciate that extra set of hands with her as well so we do get some accessories here you know, pop her out, and oh, it looks like we got some twist ties. We be twisting again, like a young Todd McFarlane. And oh, Todd's not on the couch. Usually I say Todd McFarlane, he is not on the couch. He didn't want to watch the wrestling reviews. He only really likes his own reviews. He likes it when I talk DC. He doesn't want to talk Mattel and things like that. Uh, that's Todd's loss at the end of the day. Todd's loss at the end of the day. Skyhook. See you later. Goodbye. Knocking things over. That's the way it goes from time to time, as we do know. 
But old Roxanne Perez out of the package here. We're going to get down to her in a second. But let's look at these accessories. Two gripping hands out of the package. Two fists of fury just in case the chips get down and she wants to throw down. We do got two nice fists for her right here. Looking pretty good. And then we do get the NXT Women's Title Belt. Got all that dash of color on it. I got it upside down as I'm looking at it. Nice color to this one. It's got a little of that Ted DiBiase million dollar title uh, in that X. It's got a little bit of that feel to me. WWE side plates, of course. It does not say her name on the side plates. Like we do get some of the uh, specific side plates these days. Not with Roxanne Perez here, unfortunately. But a good women's title belt here. Nice to have that in the collection as well. A lot of belt collectors are going to want that one. But now we dive into old Roxanne Perez and her referee outfit. Like I said, definitely looks like a referee outfit. But then you got some extra color splash of paint going on. Got some nice forearm guards here with like kind of like almost like shoestrings throughout. Very interesting uh, articulate uh, outfit on her there. Two black knee pads going on, and then you got black boots. I like the buckles painted in here, and then I like the neon green on the side of the laces. Looks really, really good. Got a little of that colorful laces in the back as well. An all-around good-looking, colorful figure, and truly like a young Transformers, more than meets the eye on first impressions for this one here. Now, her head sculpt, I think I could know who this is, but she does look a little bit thick in the face, and she's got a little bit of a strange smile. It's a very pained smile. It's like uh, she's in an autograph session, and somebody is, uh, you know, giving her war and peace and talking about her and trying to get her number and like, hey, you know, you want to go on a date or something. And it's just like some weird, like, 60-year-old guy or something, and she's like 20 years old. Uh, she's got that look like, yeah, I'm going to be nice to this guy, but he's really creeping me out. She's kind of got that pained expression on her face. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But uh, it looks interesting. Got a little choker in her, around her neck there that is sculpted in. Long black hair down in the front. Really on brand for her if you know her and you're familiar with her NXT work, of course. Uh, articulation on her. The arms do go all the way around. You do get a bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. The hits continue. Hands back, forth, side to side. She does got some black painted on fingernails there. Or she's got dirty fingers. We're not sure. She got really dirty fingers or is it nail polish? Uh, you be the judge. Got the hula hoop at the top. Waist articulation looking good. Big ol' Roxanne splits if you do need them. We do get the thigh cut, of course. You do get the double jointed knees pinned in there. They got the pins in the knees, of course. Boot cut, and then you get the ankles a little bit up and down. Pretty limiting per the course with Mattel and their elites on the ankles. Always the weak part of the articulation. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% of uh, ringside collectibles yes she does fit and of course mattel stands is a word you're going to need right here but roxanne pretty good is it great i don't know i'm sure if she sticks around she will have better figures in the future but for what this is a first time in the line not a bad start and i do like that there was more to this when i looked a little deeper when i saw the pretty promotional images things like that you saw it from a distance just looks like a referee outfit but there's a lot of extra color on this one that you don't catch right away or at least i didn't catch right away so not a bad figure at the end of the day and i figured i'd compare her to some other nxt female wrestlers how about gg dolan and jc jane two extremely hard to find basic figures from this year a lot of people looking for these i saw the other day one of these sold for 85 dollars loose can you believe that for a basic that's recent uh these did not hit the market these two basics uh in a big way of course they went to ringside collectibles maybe a couple of walmart's amazon uh, but these were kind of earmarked for a big retailer promotion that was canceled uh, these were all made in the normal amounts. It's not shorted made or anything like that. We will see these in the future out at retail. So don't be paying $85 for this GG Dolan. Wait 10 years and pay it maybe. But this will be coming to stores and so will JC Jane eventually. And you'll be able to complete your NXT current female roster in a lot of ways here. But uh, three NXT standouts in the female department. Of course, Chase U over here. Big fan of Chase U over here. A lot of hard financial troubles for Chase U these days. So we'll finger, keep our fingers crossed for that one. Hopefully that works out for them. But I do like this Roxanne, and I do like the sizing of her as well. Very small, much like a young AJ Lee back in the day. This does work good scaling department for me, once again, at the end of the day. So there it is, Roxanne Perez, NXT from WWE Mattel Elite Series 106. What are your thoughts on this one? Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Is it a long game? Is it the dreaded no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. And of course, we got extra content, more content, and early access to both YouTube channels' videos 
over on the Patreon. Check out Patreon, your best way to support this fair YouTube channel. You can also support channel presentees.com. Search Kyle Peterson and don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, V underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Roxanne Perez, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.